If you need a simple and straightforward way to collect files from a friend or colleague, you should consider creating a file request link through DSM on your Synology NAS. Once created, the file request link can then be provided to anyone that needs to send you files and provides the user an easy to manage web interface to streamline the process. Before being able to set up a file request link, you'll need to provide external access to your Synology NAS either through Quick Connect or DDNS and port forwarding. I have videos on how to set up both of those external access options, which I'll link to in the description below. But for this video, I'll be using DDNS and port forwarding. To set up DDNS within DSM, I'll go to Control Panel, External Access, then DDNS. Here, I'll select Add, and for this video, I'll use Synology as the DDNS service provider. I'll sign into my Synology account, and once I'm back in DSM, I'll enter in a host name I'd like to use and check the box to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and set it as default. I'll test the connection to make sure everything is working as expected, and if everything looks good, I'll click OK to finalize the setup of DDNS. I'll select OK on this message window, letting me know that the DDNS hostname that I selected will be set as the default certificate. And after the web server restarts, I'll be back at DSM with DDNS all set up. Next, I'll bring up the login portal and check the box to automatically redirect HTTP connection to HTTPS for DSM desktop. This option will be used by the file request link to redirect all traffic through the secured SSL connection. I'll click Save to enable this option, which will also restart the web server once again. Once the web server is up and running again, you'll be able to enter in the DDNS hostname that was set up earlier, and you'll be back at your DSM desktop. For port forwarding, here is a screenshot of the ports that I've enabled through my router to my Synology NAS. Basically, TCP ports 5000 and 5001 are forwarded to the corresponding ports to the internal IP address assigned to my Synology NAS. Next, I'll create a shared folder I'd like to use as a base for where I'd like to save my files. I'll do this from Control Panel, then Shared Folder. Here, I'll create a shared folder named Files and enable both Data Checksum for Advanced Data Integrity being that I'm using a BTRFS volume, as well as set a shared folder quota using the default 10 gigabytes to make sure user uploads don't take up more space on my Synology NAS than I would like. I'll then continue through the remainder of the shared folder creation wizard, keeping all remaining items as default. I'll then bring up FileStation, click on the files shared folder that was just created, and I'll create a subfolder that I'll use as the location for where the files I'll be requesting will be uploaded into and name the folder Requests. Now I'll click on the Requests subfolder, click on the Actions menu, and select Create File Request. Here we see the file path where uploaded files will be saved, the sharing link where we can either copy, email, or get a QR code that we can share with those we'd like to collect files from, for added security, there's an option to enable and set a password. We can enable a validity period for when the link is valid by setting either a begin or expire date and time or both if we would like. We can also limit how many times the link can be accessed by enabling and setting a valid access times number. Lastly, we can set up a custom message that will be displayed when the file request page is accessed. I won't change any of the link settings above, but I'll make a few changes to the message customization section, copy the sharing link, and click Save. Now, from a new browser window, I'll paste in the file request link I copied earlier, which brings up this web interface. I'll try things out by entering in my name, drag in a few files I'd like to upload, then click on the Upload button. We see indications now that the files have been uploaded successfully. Off camera, I've edited the text file I just uploaded and I'll re-upload the same file once again to see what happens if a file is uploaded multiple times.
Now back in DSM, I'll navigate to File Station, bring up the File Shared folder, then bring up the Request subfolder, and now we see a folder was created under my name that contains the files I've uploaded. We also see that the file that I uploaded multiple times retained both copies with the newest version of the file having a number appended to its name. As you can see, setting up a file request link that you can provide to others that you need to collect files from is simple to set up and hopefully this is something that you find useful. If it is, make sure to like this video. Also, check out some of my other videos listed here on screen and consider subscribing to this channel as well. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.